adding the external fan to your Peltier. So with the Peltier, you get an external fan like this. And this side sucks. No, this side blows, this side sucks. So it goes on this way to blow air into the hot side and away. So this air will take away all of the heat from the Peltier and allow it to cool your fridge. So the fan goes on this way. Doesn't matter which orientation it is. So long as this cable comes out to the same side as these wires. So if your wires are coming out the top like this, you're not gonna have much wire left over by the time you join them. So spin it around till the wires are down the same side as your Peltier wires. And then grab the screws that came with it. You need four, not three. And these screws go underneath the top. To drive them in, you have to use a tiny flat blade screwdriver because it's the only one that will go through this top hole. So through the top hole into the screw. And the only reason this works is because these screws aren't particularly tight. You drive them down and this screw will go between the last two fins of the aluminium block. And just drive it down until the screw touches you don't you don't need to over tighten it it won't over tighten because it's only just barely holding onto the aluminium it's enough to hold it and that's all we need do the diagonals first so screw goes underneath screwdriver through the top and then drive it down into that aluminium there just until it stops they don't have to be tight we just don't want the fan falling off. Two more, and then you're halfway home. Line up, little buddy. You'll find the second two are a bit tighter because the fan is starting to put some pressure on the fins and hold itself in place. Round and round we go. we now have a fan that's going to blow all the heat away but it has no protection that's where the little fan grill comes in if you look on the side it's got angled legs so one way it will sit up off the table the other way it'll sit touching the table you want it sticking up so it gives your fan a bit of clearance put it on top and use the other four screws that came in your kit just like the base ones we put the screws in and we hold it in place. So, because these are on the external, you can use a Phillips head screwdriver like you're supposed to, and just carefully screw them down. And again, we're not, we don't need Arnold Schwarzenegger here. We just need to screw until the grill touches the plastic. If you do manage to screw str so strongly that you tear the screw completely out, you'll need to find a small nut and bolt. So again, no Arnold Schwarzeneggers here. I'll be back, just not today. Save that for hammer time. Okay, one last one and you've got two thirds of your cooling unit. Next steps are putting the internal fan on and then some soldering and then chilling down your Coke or other non-branded soft drink.